President Trump has used his Twitter account to share inflammatory videos which were posted online by the deputy leader of the far-right group Britain First. The footage purports to show Muslims committing acts of violence. Well, the president's been criticised on social media for spreading hatred, and a Downing Street spokesperson has said it was wrong for the president to have retweeted those videos. But despite calls for his state visit to the UK to be cancelled, there's been no change in the plans. Well, the Labour MP Chris Bryant has said that Donald Trump should be arrested if he comes to the United Kingdom for, quote, inciting religious hatred. The first thing that should happen today is that the, the Foreign Secretary should summon in the American ambassador and give him a dressing down because the American president is meddling in British politics in a very, very dangerous way. And secondly, the Prime Minister should make it absolutely clear that if Donald Trump comes to this country, he'll be arrested for inciting religious hatred and therefore he'd be better off not coming at all. That's the Labour MP, Chris Bryant. Well, our correspondent Richard Lister's uh, been looking at those tweets that uh, Donald Trump retweeted and reaction to them. Even by his own standards, this is a fairly extraordinary thing to share with his 43 or so million followers. Uh, three videos, as you say, they were posted originally from the account of the deputy leader of the far-right group Britain First. Uh, one of the videos uh, says it is an Islamist mob pushing a teenage boy off a roof and beating him to death. It turns out, due to investigation by the Press Association, uh, that this actually was a video taken in 2013 in Alexandria in Egypt, uh, in which several men were pushed off a roof and in fact one man uh, was executed for murder as a result of that. Um, another retweeted video is, uh, is, says it's a Muslim destroying the statue of the Virgin Mary. This came from YouTube more than four years ago. It was posted saying that that was what had happened but it gave no context so it's impossible to judge exactly what the situation is. And the last is uh, a video saying it is a Muslim migrant beating up a Dutch boy. Now this was posted on a Dutch viral website earlier this year. Um, there were two young men charged in relation to this but in all the reporting there was no mention of the religion of anybody involved. So really it's very unclear the circumstances uh, in which these, these videos came about. Um, and certainly it is completely unclear why the president would want to promote them. And what has been the reaction to the fact that he has retweeted all this stuff? Well quite a furious reaction, a um, fairly measured one from the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, who said Britain first is a vile hate fueled organisation whose views should be condemned, not amplified. Brendan Cox, of course, whose wife Jo was murdered by a far-right extremist, said Trump has legitimised the far-right in his own country, now he's trying to do it in ours. Spreading hatred has consequences and the President should be ashamed of himself. Uh, David Lammy, the Labour MP for Tottenham, said uh, he is no ally or friend of ours, talking to, about Donald Trump, you're not welcome in my country, in my city. This is going to feed into the debate about his expected visit to the UK next year.